What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. Today we're discussing about this. It says unauthorized signer and apparently this spread a lot in the community. Some sort of application installer that doesn't require any certificate because it uses a leaked Apple internal certificate from a prototype and that one is implicitly trusted by the system so you don't have to sign your apps ever again. And there is an entire article in here detailing the leaked certificate, how it came from a prototype or Apple internal. There is a file called the facts over here which explains in detail the certificate serial number, payloads, and what it does. And apparently, this certificate enables you to put the device in a mode that would only be possible in the factory, and it wouldn't normally be available through any retail path. It says in here at the bottom line that this is a full chain trust breach, not achievable through any user, app, profile, MDM, carrier, or enterprise mechanism. Only an Apple internal or Apple trusted pathway could create this state. But let me tell you something about this. This is all AI slop, and this has been a problem in the jewelry community for over a year now because of AI. And apparently all of these scammers are trying to weaponize GitHub, which is a reputable source where people put their source codes and you know developers release their tools and whatever so it's generally very trusted however you can also put AI slop on GitHub. And unfortunately, that's exactly what this is. But first, let me tell you about Apple prototypes. Strap on, because this is actually quite interesting. There are this kind of devices in the wild, and you can actually come across them from time to time, even on eBay, though I don't recommend you go ahead and get one, because these are not normal iPhones. They're prototypes. This is an older one. Of course, it's a 3G or 2G or something. It's a 2G. And you can see that the UI is all weird. Because this UI is used in the factory, these devices have a different kind of motherboard inside. It's developer fused. So these allow you to install any iOS version on them because they don't have any security features enabled. The kernel can be debugged. The symbols are present in the kernel. And um, yeah, as you can see here, this is an example of a more modern one. It's a prototype iPhone 8 running a specific iOS version only for the factory. Now, this iOS version, this is the home screen. No dock, no actual proper graphics. You can see it has a lot of weird applications and these are all for debugging and testing the components like the screen, the volume controllers, the speakers, the cellular network. It tests everything. And this kind of UI is used in the factory to test if the device works. When they build a new device, they install this for prototyping purposes, you know, to test the design and whatever. So this kind of devices, as you can see over here, have made their way on eBay and other places. And many people got them but these devices yes they do run a specific iOS version that is only for the factory you can simply download that iOS version and install it on your normal device and yes there are multiple iOS Apple internal applications like these over here that are meant only for Apple employees or for factory workers at Foxconn to test various parts of the device many of these applications can even put the device in a mode where it would accept a non-trusted certificate or install applications without signing them and so on. So that's real. That kind of firmware with switchboard instead of the normal home screen can actually install unsigned applications. There is none of the normal iOS security on that. But with that being said, none of these applications over here that are made for these prototype devices would work on a normal device. You wouldn't even be able to install these applications. And even if you could, they require some frameworks that are not part of the normal iOS. They're part of this prototype iOS versions that cannot be installed on a normal device. So even if an internal certificate of any sort was leaked from Apple, it would be completely useless because at first Apple can revoke certificates through OCSP and Apple would never hard code a certificate that allows it to install applications without signing them on a retail device. All of that would be stripped in retail versions of iOS. And as I said, even if you can put your hands on a bundle, a firmware bundle for a non-retail iOS version like these from the factory, at first you wouldn't be able to install it and even if you could install it, you wouldn't want it anyway because while you might be able to install applications, those applications would very likely not work and your device would look like this. Um, I don't think you want this kind of user experience on your device. There's none of that normal iOS stuff. Most applications designed for iOS would probably break even if you could install them on this because it's missing the normal frameworks from normal iOS. This wouldn't work the way they say because the device checks whether Apple is agreeing with that certificate. Otherwise, you cannot open the application even if it installs. So yes, this is complete AI slop. I went on a big tangent in here with the prototypes, but I hope you understand where this is coming from. While there are Apple 
multiple internal applications that have leaked over the years and we learned a thing or two about some of them and there are prototype iPhones from which somebody may be able to extract some factory related stuff like certificates and applications and whatever this would not work on a normal device that is retail fuse so yeah that's basically it it's unfortunate but ai slop is quite common in the community and a lot of people tend to believe it i hope this clarifies things this video is brought to you by any unlock a software that allows you to fix your device if it's stuck in the activation screen if you got scammed buying a secondhand device from kijiji or craigslist or even ebay if the seller refuses to unlock it if you don't pay more money you may try any unlock and this may work for your device so definitely check it out thank you for watching ngo snow peace out